In the depths of the internet, one name echoes with an air of mystery and intrigue, Titan Rain. It was a series of cyber attacks that reverberated through the world's computer networks, leaving a trail of confusion and vulnerability in its wake. Titan Rain, as the media dubbed it, encompassed a wave of sophisticated and relentless hacking campaigns that unfolded over several years. Its targets ranged from government entities and military networks to defense contractors and high-profile corporations. But what made Titan Rain particularly significant is not just the scope of its targets, but the question of who was behind these audacious attacks. Understanding the identity of the perpetrator or perpetrators of Titan Rain was of utmost importance. The repercussions extended far beyond mere curiosity. It had profound implications for national security, global alliances, and the delicate balance of power in the digital age. By uncovering the truth, authorities could not only bring the culprits to justice, but also safeguard future cyber defenses against similar threats. So join me as we delve into the depths of the Titan Rain saga, unmasking the enigmatic figures lurking behind the screens and shedding light on the motives and methods that propelled these audacious attacks. For within the intricate tapestry of cyberspace, the answers lie, waiting to be discovered. In the history of cyber warfare, the origins and timeline of the Titan Rain attacks serve as a gripping testament to the ever-evolving landscape of cyber espionage. It all began in the early 2000s, when a clandestine hacking group shrouded in secrecy and operating under the enigmatic name Titan Rain emerged from the shadows. The campaign unfolded over a span of several years, its timeline intertwined with a cat-and-mouse game between the hackers and those desperately trying to unveil their identities. As the attacks grew bolder and more sophisticated, their impact reverberated across the world. The targets of Titan Rain's cyber espionage campaign were as diverse as they were significant. Government entities became prime targets, with defense ministries, intelligence agencies, and military networks infiltrated in a bid to gain access to classified information and sensitive data. The private sector wasn't spared either, as defense contractors, technology companies, and multinational corporations found themselves caught in the crosshairs of these malicious hackers. The significance of the Titan Rain attacks within the context of cybersecurity cannot be overstated. They shattered the illusion of invulnerability that many organizations and governments held regarding their digital fortresses. It highlighted the pressing need for robust cybersecurity measures and proactive defense strategies in an increasingly interconnected world. The attacks served as a stark reminder that even the most well-guarded systems could be breached. They forced nations and institutions to reevaluate their cyber defenses, invest in cutting-edge technologies, and foster international cooperation to combat this new breed of digital warfare. In addition, the Titan Rain attacks underscored the importance of attribution in cybersecurity. Unraveling the true identities of the hackers behind the moniker was crucial not only for accountability and justice, but also for gaining a deep understanding of their techniques and motives. It enabled experts to devise effective countermeasures and fortify defenses against future cyber threats, ultimately strengthening the resilience of nations and organizations in the face of relentless attacks. So as we peel back the layers of the Titan Rain saga, we must bear in mind the profound impact it had on the world's perception of cybersecurity. It was a wake-up call, a turning point that forever altered the way we safeguard our digital infrastructure, and a constant reminder that vigilance and adaptability are our most potent weapons in the ongoing battle for cyber supremacy. The attribution process, in the context of cyber attacks like Titan Rain, is the intricate task of identifying and assigning responsibility to the individuals, groups, or nation-states behind the offensive operations. While attribution may seem straightforward in theory, in practice it presents a myriad of challenges that can often make it an arduous and elusive endeavor. One of the primary challenges in the attribution process is the inherent nature of cyberspace itself. The digital realm offers anonymity and the ability to obfuscate one's identity through various techniques such as IP address spoofing, proxy servers, and utilizing compromised systems as intermediaries. Hackers can easily cover their tracks, leaving a trail of breadcrumbs that leads investigators down a labyrinth of false identities and misdirection. Furthermore, the attribution process becomes even more complex when dealing with sophisticated actors such as state-sponsored hacking groups. These adversaries possess substantial resources, expertise, and the ability to employ advanced evasion techniques. They may deliberately employ tactics to mislead investigators and throw off attribution efforts, making it a daunting task to establish a definitive connection between the attackers and their true origins. 
Additionally, the global nature of cyberspace further complicates attribution. Attackers can launch operations from one part of the world while routing their activities through numerous compromised systems located in different countries. This technique, known as jumping through hoops, creates a convoluted chain of evidence that hampers attribution efforts. It requires international collaboration and cooperation between cybersecurity agencies, intelligence communities, and law enforcement organizations to trace the intricate pathways and connect the dots. Another challenge arises from the possibility of false flag operations, where attackers deliberately imitate the tactics, techniques, and procedures of another hacking group or nation-state to deflect suspicion. This intentional misdirection adds another layer of complexity to the attribution process, as it becomes crucial to distinguish genuine actors from those attempting to sow confusion and cast doubt on their true origins. The reliance on technical indicators and digital forensic evidence poses yet another obstacle. Attackers are becoming increasingly skilled at leaving minimal traces of their activities or deliberately planting false evidence to mislead investigators. Sophisticated attackers can leverage zero-day exploits, custom malware, and encryption techniques that make it exceedingly difficult to attribute attacks solely based on technical signatures. Despite these challenges, the attribution process continues to evolve and improve over time. It relies on a multidisciplinary approach that combines technical analysis, behavioral patterns, intelligence gathering, and collaboration among experts. The accumulation of evidence, correlation of data points, and the application of advanced analytics can gradually uncover the true identity and motives behind cyber attacks like Titan Ring. Attribution in the realm of cyber attacks is a complex and challenging endeavor. It requires a delicate balance of technical expertise, intelligence sharing, and international cooperation. While it may not always yield definitive results, the ongoing refinement of attribution techniques is essential for understanding the threat landscape, formulating effective defense strategies, and holding accountable those responsible for jeopardizing the security of nations, organizations, and individuals in the digital age. When examining the evidence of the Titan Rain attacks, a series of indicators and patterns emerged that pointed towards the involvement of individuals or groups affiliated with China. While attribution in the cyber realm can be challenging, cybersecurity experts and intelligence agencies have identified several factors that suggest Chinese origins. One significant piece of evidence lies in the analysis of the attack infrastructure. Technical investigations have revealed that the Titan Rain attacks originated from IP addresses associated with China, indicating that the hackers operated within the country or leveraged compromised systems located there. Moreover, the malware used in the attacks often contained Chinese language artifacts or included reference to Chinese culture, further hinting at the potential involvement of Chinese actors. Behavioral analysis also played a role in attributing the attacks to China. The modus operandi of the hackers aligned with previous cyber espionage campaigns linked to Chinese state-sponsored groups. The targets, which predominantly encompassed government entities, defense contractors, and technology companies aligned with Chinese strategic interests, pointed towards motives beyond mere financial gain. The potential motivations behind the involvement of the Chinese government in cyber espionage campaigns like Titan Rain are multifaceted. It's important to note that attributing cyber attacks to a specific nation state does not necessarily imply the direct involvement of the entire government or its official policy. Instead, it often suggests the activity of specific hacking groups or individuals acting in alignment with state interests. One primary motivation for Chinese cyber espionage is the acquisition of sensitive intellectual property and technological advancements. China has made significant strides in its economic and technological development, and cyber espionage provides a means to accelerate this progress by obtaining a proprietary information, trade secrets, and cutting-edge research from targeted entities. This information can be leveraged to enhance China's own industries and reduce its reliance on foreign technologies. Another motivation lies in the national security and military capabilities. Cyber espionage allows China to gather intelligence on rival nations, particularly in areas such as defense, military strategy, and geopolitical affairs. Understanding the strengths, weaknesses, and plans of other countries enhances China's ability to safeguard its own interests, shape international dynamics, and potentially gain an advantage in any future conflicts. Additionally, cyber espionage can serve as a tool for political and economic influence. By infiltrating foreign government networks, China can monitor diplomatic communications, influence policy decisions, and gain leverage in negotiations. Furthermore, the theft of sensitive business information can provide Chinese companies with a competitive edge in global markets, bolstering China's economic influence on the world stage. 
Again, while attribution in cyberspace can be challenging, the evidence linking the Titan Rain attacks to Chinese hackers includes technical indicators, behavioral patterns, and the alignment of targets with Chinese strategic interests. The motivations behind China's potential involvement in cyber espionage campaigns stems from economic, military, political, and technological considerations. Understanding these motivations is crucial for comprehending the broader context of cyber attacks and the evolving dynamics of international cybersecurity. In response to the Titan Rain attacks and the growing threat of cyber espionage, victims and organizations took various actions to mitigate the impact and strengthen their cybersecurity defenses. These efforts included a combination of technical measures, information sharing, and collaborative initiatives. Victims of the attacks, including government entities, defense contractors, and private companies, undertook comprehensive reviews of their cybersecurity infrastructure. They implemented robust security measures such as enhanced network monitoring, intrusion detection systems, and firewalls to detect and prevent unauthorized access. Regular security audits, vulnerability assessments, and patch management became critical practices to identify and address potential weaknesses. In parallel, organizations bolstered their incident response capabilities. They established dedicated cybersecurity teams or partnered with external cybersecurity firms to conduct investigations, respond to incidents, and swiftly recover from any breaches. This involved developing and testing incident response plans, conducting employee training on cybersecurity best practices, and establishing protocols for reporting and escalating security incidents. Recognizing the need for collective defense, Collaborative efforts between government agencies, private companies, and international partners emerged as crucial components of the response to the Titan Rain attacks. Information sharing became a focal point to enhance situational awareness, understand attack techniques, and identify emerging threats. Government agencies such as intelligence agencies and law enforcement organizations collaborated with affected entities to investigate the attacks, gather evidence, and attribute responsibility. They also facilitated information sharing among private companies, academia, and other government agencies through initiatives like the establishment of cybersecurity information sharing centers or the formation of task forces dedicated to combating cyber threats. Internationally, partnerships and cooperation were fostered to address the global nature of cyber threats. Governments shared intelligence, exchanged best practices, and coordinated efforts to identify and disrupt cyber espionage campaigns. Collaboration extended to international forums and organizations focused on cybersecurity, where discussions on policy frameworks, norms, and information sharing mechanisms took place. The Titan Rain attacks yielded crucial lessons in terms of cybersecurity and information sharing. First and foremost, they underscored the importance of proactive defense strategies. Organizations realized that a reactive approach was insufficient and that continuous monitoring, threat intelligence sharing, and collaboration were imperative to stay one step ahead of cyber adversaries. The attacks also highlighted the significance of timely and effective information sharing. Sharing threat intelligence and incident data among public and private entities enabled a collective understanding of the threat landscape, facilitated the development of stronger defense mechanisms, and allowed for quicker detection and response to emerging threats. Furthermore, the collaborative efforts between government agencies, private companies, and international partners emphasized the need for a unified approach to cybersecurity. Recognizing that cyber threats transcend national boundaries, collective defense strategies and international cooperation became crucial for combating collective defense strategies and international cooperation became crucial for combating sophisticated cyber attacks effectively. Overall, The lessons learned from the Titan Rain attacks emphasized the need for a multifaceted approach to cybersecurity, encompassing technical measures, incident response capabilities, and robust information sharing networks. Collaboration, both within and between sectors, emerged as a key enabler in the ongoing battle against cyber threats, reinforcing the idea that cybersecurity is a shared responsibility requiring collective action. The Titan Rain cyber attacks left an indelible mark on the landscape of cybersecurity, providing key findings and insights that continue to shape our understanding of digital warfare. These attacks revealed the importance of ongoing efforts to strengthen cybersecurity defenses and foster international cooperation in the face of evolving threats. Key findings from the Titan Rain attacks include the significant challenges involved in attribution, particularly when dealing with sophisticated state-sponsored actors. 
the attacks demonstrated the ability of cyber adversaries to exploit vulnerabilities, employ advanced evasion techniques, and conceal their true identities. Understanding the modus operandi and motivations of such hacking groups proved crucial for developing effective defense strategies. The attacks highlighted the interconnectedness of cyberspace, transcending geographical boundaries and emphasizing the need for international cooperation. Collaborative efforts between government agencies, private companies, and international partners became paramount in sharing threat intelligence, enhancing situational awareness, and developing unified defense mechanisms. The Titan Rain attacks underscored the necessity of ongoing collaboration to address cyber threats collectively. In terms of lasting impact, the legacy of the Titan Rain Group lies in its role as a wake-up call to governments, organizations, and individuals regarding the critical importance of cybersecurity. It shattered the illusion of invulnerability and brought attention to the ever-evolving nature of cyber threats. The attacks spurred increased investment in cybersecurity measures, the development of advanced technologies, and the formation of policies to protect critical infrastructures and sensitive data. The Titan Rain attacks also left a legacy of resilience. They spurred organizations to develop robust incident response capabilities, establish proactive defense strategies, and foster a culture of cybersecurity awareness. Lessons learned from these attacks continue to inform the ongoing battle against cyber threats, shaping policies, best practices, and international cooperation frameworks. Ultimately, the legacy of the Titan Rain Group serves as a constant reminder of the need for vigilance, adaptability, and collaboration in the realm of cybersecurity. As technology advances and the threat landscape evolves, ongoing efforts to strengthen cybersecurity defenses and promote international cooperation remain paramount. By learning from the past, we can continue to enhance our resilience, protect critical assets, and forge a secure digital future. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with me. If I missed anything or got anything wrong, please let me know as I would love to learn more. If you liked what you heard, please consider subscribing. If you did not like what you heard, thank you for sticking with me this far. I appreciate the time that you have spent watching this video. No matter who you are, you only get 24 hours in a day. Thank you for spending a portion of that with me. See you next time.